Hi, I'm Frank Travato, a research analyst with Infotech Research Group. Today I will be talking about green IT. When Infotech last took a look at green IT in 2008, we were in the middle of an energy crisis. Since then, energy prices dropped as we entered a global recession. In this solution set, we took a look at the impact of those two events on green IT and how to maximize the benefits of green IT today. In this video, with that context in mind, I'll be focusing on the impact of energy efficiency on data center costs, implementing a successful green IT program, and examples of green IT initiatives. For the first topic, I'll use the last energy crisis as an example. In 2008, when gas prices rose from $3 to over $4 a gallon, you couldn't give away your pickup truck. Today, pickups are back to being top sellers, and the approach taken by most organizations to green IT is very similar. When energy prices rise, so does the interest in green IT as a means to reduce costs, and that interest falls just as quickly when prices drop. That is a short-sighted approach that foregoes the impact of energy efficiency not only on your bottom line today, but also the next time an energy crisis hits. Electricity rates increased by 21% during the last energy crisis. If the same increase happened today, the mid-sized data center with a load of 100 kilowatts per hour could see an annual cost in increase of almost $19,000. Reducing the electricity load by just 30% to 70 kilowatts per hour through easily attainable improved energy efficiency will not, un not only lower the current costs, but also fully absorb the 21% increase. As the economic recovery continues, electricity demand and prices will rise again, and as utility companies struggle to keep up with demand, Rolling brownouts and unscheduled power outages will also continue. Predicted price volatility and potential scarcity of supply is causing some data managers, data center managers to rethink energy efficiency and green IT. Next, I'll talk about the key steps to implementing a successful green IT program. Keep in mind that green IT is a component of overall sustainability practices, or in other words, the sustainable management of resources. So looking beyond the dollar impact of energy efficiency for a moment, the fact is that the way we generate electricity today is not sustainable because it is still generated primarily by power plants fueled by oil, natural gas, and coal, which of course are all non-renewable energy sources and are a primary cause of greenhouse gases. Green IT is part of the solution by improving energy efficiency and thereby reducing the demand for electricity and by association, the amount of oil, gas, and coal consumed. So how do you implement a successful green IT program? We have found that organizations that define clear environmental goals, such as specific targets for energy efficiency improvements, are much more successful, particularly during difficult economic times. That leadership drives organization-wide commitment and cooperation, which is critical to many initiatives such as printer consolidation and reduction that can require staff to change their work habits. Similarly, establishing an environmental committee that includes a cross-section of managers and staff not only helps drive buy-in, but can also be a resource for identifying and implementing energy-saving activities. Individually, or initially rather, your goals can be as simple as making a commitment to identify how much energy your data center is consuming. This solution set includes an energy and carbon calculator tool that will enable you to at least estimate energy usage if you aren't already measuring. Use that energy estimate to drive more formal energy measurement using techniques such as submetering and tools that report power usage right down to the server level, which will provide the data you need to identify energy saving opportunities and make informed strategic decisions. Next, I'll describe some examples of green IT initiatives. While some initiatives require significant upfront cost or are practical only when building a new data center, many others are low cost or low effort, such as optimizing server and desktop power management and can be implemented right away. If you're renovating or building new, take advantage of that opportunity to go beyond the low hanging fruit and make a business case for initiatives such as more advanced initiatives such as optimizing airflow with a hot and cold aisle setup, or implementing free cooling systems, or install, installing building automation devices. The hot and cold aisle setup involves separating the cold air supply from the vented hot air, 
to avoid mixing the hot and cold air, which would make your CRAC have to work even harder. It's like closing your windows on a hot summer day when you turn on the AC. You don't want the hot air from outside to mix with the cold. Free cooling refers to using airside economizers to draw in cooler outside air to reduce the load on your CRAC. As long as the average annual temperature is under 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius, in other words, even as far south as the state of Georgia, you can take advantage of seasonal or overnight free cooling. Building automation technology can range from something as simple as motion sensors for lighting to dynamic climate controls that adjust airflow, heating and cooling for different parts of the building based on current conditions to minimize energy usage. To learn more about these and other initiatives, please read the storyboard in the solution set. In summary, forward-thinking organizations that take a long-term approach to green IT and sustainability have been able to continue to make the business case and reap the benefits of improved energy efficiency even during difficult economic times. Those who are still buying pickup trucks, so to speak, are unable to get traction with their green IT efforts as interest rises and falls with energy prices. Don't wait to be pushed into green IT by local environmental laws or the next energy crisis. Get ahead of the curve by exploring green IT now. If you are new to green IT, use the resources in this solution set, such as the Energy and Carbon Calculator, to raise awareness and begin to implement a green IT strategy. If you are already practicing green IT initiatives, use this set to help you move from an ad hoc to strategic approach to maximize the benefits of green IT. Thank you for listening.